Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today I'm gonna to show you guys what we did for our sewer system outside of our building. We needed to hook into our main lateral, so I'm gonna show you guys how we did that. Right here behind me, you can see that we are in the building itself. We have our plumbing in the building. The inspector already checked that out and we passed that. But now we need to hook up to our main line. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so right here you can see we have um, in the slab or under the slab of uh, plumbing right here. Uh, we have our pressure test and we are sitting right at five pounds. That's what you need for inspection. Uh, five pounds of pressure, no loss, that, no greater loss than one PSI over 15 minutes. So we have this entire thing, um, our plumbing under the slab, and our entire main line pressurized right now. So I'll go run through. I'll show you what we did here. So right here, we are coming out of the garage. We have a 45 right here. Uh, we came down at an angle, caught into a Y, and this is our very first um, vent right here. This is the vent. Um, it needs to be a foot above grade. Then there is a trap down there. It's just like a giant P trap. It's just a U. Uh, and then there's a T right here. This comes up to uh, clean out, and then it goes into a Y with another clean out. Okay, this clean out right here, this is for the trap itself. Um, you could use the vent, I don't know why they need three here, but there's a clean out then here. This is for your section going down the ditch. Okay, so we have this three part system right here. Um, we have our pitch at quarter inch fall per foot. We're coming down here, and then we have a good section that we're going downhill with. So we'll come down here. And we come to our first clean out. Right here is our clean out. We are sitting at 46 feet from the one up top. Uh, every uh, there needs to be a clean out every 50 feet including the rise on your clean out So that's why we have it at 46. There's also a change in direction here. We need to be within five feet um, Of any change in direction there needs to be a clean out so that actually works out perfect for us and then We go over here and we're tying into our main lateral right here so we just went down and we're tying into a clean out here. So it's a vertical clean out that we tied into instead of the lateral itself that made it a lot easier. There's no rubber fitting that we would have had to use. Um, they're just tying into the ladder or excuse me, the clean out um, with a Y and a 45. So uh, you can see here, it goes pretty steep up the hill. There's that 22 degree change in direction with the clean out and then to here. So there's a couple things that you guys probably should know. First off, you need fall. You know, at least a quarter inch per foot on your line. Obviously here on the hill, we didn't really need that, but up top where it was flat, uh, we definitely needed to get our quarter inch fall per foot. So we um, shot the laser for that. And then down here in this little section, we made sure we got that. So the big thing was no 90 degree elbows. Um, everything needs to be, if you need a 90, you either you need to use a Y and a 45 or two 45s. I really didn't get the two 45s, why you can't use a long sweep 90. Uh, you plumbing guys know more than me. I would love to hear that answer because you're putting two pieces together where you could use just one. Why that is, I don't know. I don't know if that's just my township that's doing that. Um, I think it's kind of dumb. You have more points of failure with uh, two pieces instead of one solid one. Um, I think it would be easier to get a snake around a long 90 than a 245s, but I could be wrong. So um, hit that up in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Um, 
Another thing is your 50 feet uh, for every clean out, you must include your riser in that um, because most snakes are 50 feet long. So if you make it 50 feet and don't include that riser, you're not going to get snaked to the next clean out that you have. So that's probably the reason why there's not a whole bunch of 100 foot snakes out there. And if there is, you're not going to get a lot of power behind them to clean out if you do have a clog. Uh, when we had this change in direction here at 22 degrees, it needs to be within five feet of a clean out. Any change in direction, the reason for that is to get more power behind a snake if there is a clog at that change in direction. Um, just make sure that the inspector can see all of your purple primer. Make sure you go a little wider uh, than your connections themselves just to make sure that they can see that. Uh, for this, they wanted a cushion of stone around the pipe, uh, six inches below, six inches on either side, and 12 inches above the pipe. They are, we're going to inspect it today, this morning. They're going to come and watch me backfill uh, my stone just to make sure that I'm actually backfilling properly. So um, you got to make sure that you're on site and that you have stone in your backfill ready to go because they won't pass you um, Unless you guys have all that ready So what else? So that's pretty much it. We have a rubber ball in this Y that we pressurized so we could pressurize on this end And we have 5 psi up there um, Also, if you guys are having trouble passing your air test um, and you have a little bit of leakage over one PSI over 15 minutes, um, my township gives you the option to do a water test. Instead of air, you basically fill your entire system with water, and it needs to be clear water, and it needs to not drop so many inches over a, a time period. And the benefit to water is water's not gonna escape where air is. So if you do find yourself having a little bit of a problem uh, passing the air test, see if you can opt to do a water test, um, hydrostatic, where you just fill it up with water and they see if the water line drops at all. Um, if you're having a little issue, that might help you out there a little bit. But uh, we opted for the air test. All of our connections are solid and not leaking at all. Um, I had it on for 20 minutes uh, yesterday and we didn't have any drop in pressure, thank goodness. Um, this is a little nerve wracking getting all this together. Um, especially up there at the trap and stuff, just getting everything um, nice and neat and straight up and down. Um, coming down here, getting your grade and stuff. It does take a long time. Me and my dad were working on it for probably about 12 hours in one day, just getting all this stuff lined up and then having to tie into a fixed position. That was kind of tough. So uh, we got it through um, and we're just waiting on the inspectors to come. So we'll uh, wait until they come and I'll let you know how we made out. All right, guys, we passed the inspection with the city or the township to pass our sewer. Super stoked about that. So all we're going to do now is we're going to backfill um, our dirt on top of our stone and get everything uh, nice and neat and tidied up. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys. And I hope to see you next time.